brothers and sisters, I'm coming to you with another rapture dream that I had. I'm going to go ahead and get into the rapture dream so that um, you will understand just how close we are. In this dream, I was in the kitchen. I was watching YouTube videos on the signs of his coming, on the signs of the rapture. All of a sudden, I saw something that should not be there. It was something that was being said that was not true. And I said, do not say certain things. Immediately after I said, do not say certain things, I was in the air. And, or I was floating up and going up in the air. As I looked down, I was looking at my sister and I was repenting of my sins as I was going through the air. Now, keep in mind that I was seeing the signs of the rapture to come. Everywhere I looked, there were these bubble messages that were above the um, different things that were happening. So, I wanted to include um, a couple headlines so that you could see exactly what I was seeing. As you can see, things are starting to really ramp up. Not just the earthquakes, but the natural disasters and storms and tornadoes. And, of course, we have to keep an eye on the dollar and everything that's going on with the dollar. We do not have that much time left. And I really, truly want to stress this. In the dream, as I was being raptured up, I was repenting of everything. And we have we have already went through the repentance process. So that tells me that the Lord wants each and every one of us to examine ourselves and go through repentance daily. Have a heart of repentance. You never know when your last breath is. I'm speaking to the ones who do not know Jesus. I'm speaking to the ones who have never given their lives to God. Please don't wait. Do it today. Give Jesus your heart today. Because we are not promised our next breath. Ambulance is just passing and making noise. Like, what's going on? Multiple accidents due to mass disappearance of vehicle drivers. When it comes to the rapture of the church, the Bible tells us that the day of the Lord will come like a thief in the night. It tells us that in a flash, in the twinkling of an eye, those who have died will be raised to live forever. And we who are living will also be transformed. This tells me that when Jesus Christ comes to rapture his church away, it will be sudden. It will be unexpected in the sense that many will be going about their day-to-day -day business. Send from heaven with a cry of command, with the voice of an archangel, and with the sound of the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive, who are left, will be caught up together 
with him in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so we will always be with the Lord. One day Jesus is coming. You may be at church. You may be at work. You may be asleep. God grant that you will be ready when he makes his personal appearance. My God, what if his appearance occurs on a Sunday morning? My prophetic word to you this morning is get ready, get ready! And Jehovah came back right now, would you make it? Hell is a real place, and I don't want you to go there. We've been recording on the bizarre phenomenon that seems to be taking place not just in this country, but all over the world. Getting angry at God isn't going to solve anything. Don't but dad me, young lady. I didn't say you can see that boy when we get to church. This is not the way it's supposed to be. It's over! Then two shall be in the field, the one shall be taken, and the other left. Watch therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all the things that are to come on the earth.